I'm doing a requested video. It, it is my favorite drugstore products. Well, one person asked for favorite drugstore products and another person asked for top drugstore products, but to me they're both the same thing. And it was requested by, oh my goodness, Sweet Escape 115 and X Crazy Pink Girl X. And I'm just going to start off right now with the lip products. And first is lip balms. And first up is Burt's Bees. This is the pomegranate one. It's a nice chapstick and it smells really nice. It's really good for your lips. Then I have Carmex, which is not only my favorite drugstore um, lip balm, it's my favorite lip balm because, oh my gosh, like right around this time of the year when it was like really dry or wintry, whatever, it's kind of springish now, my lips were like really dry and crazy looking and this like really it heals it up because it's kind of like um not just a lip balm it's it, i don't know it just helps heal and lock in the moisture and stuff so that's really good and then i have two lipsticks from the drugstore i have one from rimmel and this one is airy fairy It's this really pretty, um, kind of a light pink. It's really nice and it has some shimmer in it and it smells really good. I'm not sure how to explain the smell, but it smells nice. And then the other one is from Maybelline. This is one of the colors, Color Sensational. Yeah, one of the Color Sensational lipsticks. And this one is in Pink Petal. And this one is a really good color for springtime. It's like I usually don't buy like a lot of things from the drugstore. Like I'm not going to feature a concealer or a foundation because I've never had one from the drugstore. That actually was my color because I don't know. I guess I'm just one of those people out there who is just unlucky and can't find something like that at the drugstore so I have to see if I can find it at Sephora or MAC or whatever. That's one of my things on my list to find a concealer. And now, after that little tangent, I have two lip glosses. One's Maybelline Color Sensational and this one is Freshly Sliced and it smells like grapefruits, which is one of my favorite fruits. This is really nice pink and of course the lip glosses they're sheer. And then this one is a CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. And this one is watermelon, I believe. Yeah, watermelon splash. And this is like my absolute favorite one. It smells so good. Like from the drugstore, I only get lip glosses that come in tubes. Um, I just only like these kinds that comes in the tubes from the drugstore. Next, I have two face products, even though it's for your cheeks. And one of them is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush, and this one is in Soft Plum. And this one is a really pretty mauve plumish color, and it has some shimmer in it, and you just, you know, dab your finger in it, and you just put it on your face and blend it in, because one of those products where it goes from cream or, yeah, this is a cream blush, it goes from cream to powder. The next is this NYX blush and this one's Coco. I don't know, I consider NYX a drugstore product or drugstore brand because you can find it at Ulta in that little section where they have the drugstore products. And this one is very nice. It is kind of a, a dark mauve color. It's not as brown as it looks. Some people can even use it as a um, a contour if you like. Then I have a bunch of eye products. First is my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus eyeliner and this one is the black one. The name rub, well, name rubbed off. But yeah, it's pretty nice black. It's kind of a not really black black. It's a kind of a softer black. And then I have my Milani Liquify Metallic 
eyeliner pencil and this one is also black but this one is more like a gel liner in a pencil form and you can put this on you have a little bit of time to smudge it out if you want to and then it dries and it stays but um, the only thing is it's so emollient when you have it on your waterline you need to put some powder over top of it so it doesn't fade I'm not just have problems with it like that but it will stay on there forever all day you just gotta make sure that you um, clean it off every night so it doesn't get bacteria into your eyes then I have this NYX jumbo eye pencil and this one's in milk and I usually use this one in um, this area in the tear duct area because it makes your eyes pop gives it that look to make you look like you're awake even if you're tired and then I have some mascaras and the first one is L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and I just recently got this one I think it was in January and it had a coupon on it it was at Target and it got a dollar off and this one makes your eyelashes look longer but I don't know some sometimes it works perfectly and then other times it just doesn't work so well it's like kind of gets stuck on the brush and too much product comes out but I really love this mascara because like it makes my lashes look so long and like fake the next one is the covergirl lash blast volume the orange one this is the original one I want to get the um, the 24 hour one the black one with the orange on it and this one is like my favorite I love this one it has one of those um, I guess it's silicone bristles they're really nice for separating your lashes and it never gets clumpy and then I have a oh, messed up this one is the Maybelline great lash this one's the clear one and I don't use this on my lashes I use this on my eyebrows it's really nice for that it keeps them in place and stay all day then I have a liquid eyeliner and this one is L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense and this one has the felt tip applicator which is why I love it because it's so easy to use and it's really nice it, the only thing is it has kind of a shininess to it and I like more of a, a matte black but you can't really tell when you have eyeshadow on or you can just put something else on top of it and then I have this wet and wild it's a cream liner and this one's the black one which you can kind of see through the bottom of it it's the black one and then the last thing is these wet and wild eyeshadows I feel like I've tried a few different eyeshadows from the drugstore but wet and wild is by far the best eyeshadows I've ever gotten from the drugstore they're really pigmented you have to be careful because they're really soft and you don't want to pick up too much product on your brush because then you're gonna have it all down your face and it is very cheap so it's a very good deal for these pigmented eyeshadows you wouldn't expect something like this from the drugstore and I guess that's pretty much all I have from the drugstore they're my favorites hope you guys are having a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.